G'day. Paul here, sitting down by a babbling brook. It's otherwise known as the Mary River in Queensland. Very precious river that's been protected and taken good care of by the local people. And we're near the town called Kenilworth. And our reading today is coming out of Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Well, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. And in Revelation chapter 22, we read this, Then the angel showed me the river, the river of water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Through the middle of the street of the city, also on the other side of the river, the tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be anything accursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And night will be no more, they will need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. And, and he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true, and the Lord has sent his angel to show his servants what must soon take place. And then behold, I'm coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Wow. He says it again, verse 12. Behold, I'm coming soon, bringing my recompense with me to repay each one for what he has done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Wow. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. And we're all going there one day. That is our eternal home. This earth is not our home. This is a temporary dwelling as we wait for our placement in the city of God. And if you want to be part of the eternal kingdom of God, all you need to do is to let Jesus come into your heart, call upon him, and you will be saved. It says in the book of Romans, all those who call upon the name of Jesus will be saved. And you too will have a place in that beautiful kingdom of God, the city of God where the river makes glad the people of God. What a beautiful thought. Make sure you booked your seat. Make sure you booked your passage into the city of God on that beautiful holy hill. Get into the word of God, it'll teach you so much. It'll encourage you, it'll lift your spirits, it'll strengthen you. And you will be blessed. Get into the Word, but also make the Word get into you and change your life. You'll be transformed. You'll be a new creation. Old things will have passed away. You will be born again. Oh, Father God, we thank you for your creation, for your wonderful environment that we can just come and sit here by the riverbank and 
be at one with you Lord there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God when you get that spirit of God in you it flows out of your belly like a stream living water that you're able to share with the dying world around you you know Jesus in us is the hope of glory if we allow his words and his thoughts to permeate our being become part of us we will have streams of living water flowing out from us to help others who are in a dry and thirsty land see you later bye now